Welcome to another episode of MATLAB Time. In this episode, we are looking into the details of state flow truth table and how it works with state flow. In the previous video, we have seen a real life example. And in this, we will see a simple example which makes some uh, sense uh, while implementing uh, in a mathematical relationship. And it also says how a truth table works and how the decisions are being taken via the truth table. So the first question is, what is a truth table in MATLAB? So basically it is just a box which you can consider as a black box which takes some inputs. So here in this scenario, A and B are the both two inputs that you can give inside the truth table and there will be some basic logics or truth value logics which will be applied inside this box based on your given input and based on that you will get some truth value or some actions or decisions that you need to perform so every decisions will have um, a action pair which will decide what to do next with the truth table so the combination will decide which decisions need to be taken and based on the decisions there will be a pair of actions that need to be taken so let's see a short example so in this case we are having the input a and b as the input and here x is our output so in this scenario as you can see we have a truth table this is the truth table and the correspondingly we will have an action table so suppose uh, for scenario we are considering that a equals to equals to b which means in this case if a and b both are having same values then in that case we will be having uh, different decisions so and uh, yeah next is uh, the comparison uh, from a uh, greater than b okay so if a is greater than b there is one description okay this is one situation and um, along with that if b is greater than a then this is one more situation so for that we have three decisions okay so suppose you have given uh, a as 10 and b as 10 both are same okay in this case uh, this will be true okay and the remaining will be false so in this case decision one will be taken suppose you have given a equal to 11 and b equal to 10 then in this case the second statement will be true and the remaining part will be false so this is true and these are false so this will leads to decision two okay and if the value of a is 10 and b is 11 then this will lead to decision three okay so this is the decision three and in which um, the first uh, statement is false the second statement is also false and the third statement is true so based on this you will take um, decision three so correspondingly for every decision we have a action plan so uh, only taking decisions will not help you need to take some actions so uh, there will be some numbers defined against every decision so so every decision has some action so these actions corresponding to the action numbers so here is the action number one if you do decision one like if you decide uh, that it is going to decision number one then correspondingly you need to set some action so it will go to the action column and it will uh, take the action number one and then uh, as mentioned here action number one is generating the x as the output okay so in that case uh, we are also getting x as the output and a b are the input so using those inputs we are doing some calculation and we are sending the output out in the form of x so if you take decision two then in that case you will end up in taking decision two and the calculation will be different in that case but you are still using same a and b in this scenario and generating x along with that um, if suppose you have 
taken the decision three then there will be one action related to the same which is action three and that you will be taking um, by this way and generating x so ultimately this truth table will take two values uh, which is a and v, b which can be either one of the example or anything and along with that it will generate a output which will be in the form of x so whatever inside all these things will happen inside this uh, like whatever all these things will happen inside this box and you will get some actions as the output in the form of x so that is how uh, usually this truth table works so first part is uh, checking the uh, true value of uh, the condition that you have and then correspondingly taking the decisions and based on the decisions like whichever the decisions you make based on that there will be corresponding actions that will be planned uh, which will be mentioned in the action table so for every decisions you need to have a action in the state flow uh, chart in the truth table uh, otherwise you will face some um, error uh, which will be popping up in the windows uh, and uh, along with that um, one more thing uh, to remember you can uh, consider um, multiple actions in the action columns plus you can repeat the actions um, you can uh, take decisions one here and you can take decision two here so also here you can take decision two so you can repeat the uh, actions uh, based on uh, your decision so if you are taking decision d1 and then you can also use action a2 um, if you are taking decision uh, d2 you can also take action a1 so uh, it depends on what value you are mentioning here based on that it will activate the action chart so that is how uh, the uh, action and uh, decision uh, truth table uh, works and uh, based on the truth value that uh, is given in this uh, particular example so this truth table will um, behave uh, based on the action and decision plan that is mentioned so that is how a truth table works in uh, state uh, we will see uh, the detailed implementation in the next tutorial um, so basically the uh, use cases we also need to know like uh, where we usually apply the truth table and it is uh, not like you can compare two values and uh, then you take some decisions there are multiple real life use cases that are present in the truth table implementation so those we will see in the coming tutorial in case you are liking the channel please consider subscribing in case you have any comment or query please share it in the comment box it will help us to improve your experience of learning matlab in this channel have a great day ahead. Thank you.